You can tell what time it is. We're in COVID. Hi, I'm Bill France. I'm uh, West Point Class 74, Company A1. And here's a shout out to all my A1 buddies and May Cleek and, and uh, Walker and uh, Hendricks and Letcher. Rest in peace. God rest their souls. Um, guys, um, you may or may not remember or know that I accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior when I was a cadet. In fact, I did that um, pretty early on uh, when uh, Leroy Barnes was hazing the heck out of me and Featherstone and Cleek and, and Hendricks and Hughes. And uh, we suffered through that uh, terrible week, uh, reorgy week. And uh, I reached a point of no return and uh, Leroy's um, roommate, Skip Bash, said to me when I came in desperation to him, Bill, well he said, Mr. France, have you uh, considered Jesus? That started it. Uh, and then years later, I made a formal commitment with Steve Hughes on my hand, on my knees, uh, saying, Lord, I accept you as Lord and Savior. Well, that was significant. Uh, when I made the, uh, the decision, it was based on an image uh, that this Baptist preacher gave at a small retreat we were having there at West Point. And he put his hands out like this and he said, Jesus did this for you. And I realized that Jesus died for me on that, that cross. And that was a terrible death. You understand that the Romans took that from the Phoenicians. And they, the Phoenicians had tried to think of the most horrible way they, they could make a person suffer and die. And so when they, when they nailed a person to the cross, that nail went through there. So it severed that nerve and you were pulling on the tendons right there as you hung from that cross. And when you hung from that cross and you got down into this position, your diaphragm was basically paralyzed and you couldn't breathe. So in order to breathe, you'd have to push up against that tree and that cross beam against the nail that went through your two feet where it was excruciating pain. And the person would literally go up and down, up and down against that cross suffocating and feeling the pain in their arms and their shoulders and against their hands and the nails and then pushing up against the nail at the bottom back and forth. It would take days typically for a person to die like that. So it was an excruciating torture. Well, the Romans improved on that. They decided, well, let's whip the person with a cat of nine tails, nine threads of leather with little um, stones or pieces of lead in there so when they slashed across your back and they did this to Jesus 40 times they were ripping the sh shreds out of his back so as he walked with that cross beam from uh, where he was tried by uh, uh, Pilate to where he was put on the cross he was bleeding out his back across all those stripes so he was very weak that's what they did they wanted the person to die so the train's going